So I, do you I knew, subscribe to the sheets and stuff? Do you read all the, all uh, the sheets? And, no, not anymore. I, I could not anymore. Okay. No. It's just okay. it, it's it's but it's become so clickbaity. Mm. Well, it's, it's like like it, we say to people, if you believe this shit, then you deserve to lose human rights. <laughs> and the other thing that I can't take it anymore. I'm not like you. I'm so cool. I'm just obsessed with the past. I'm not a fan of the sheets. I'm not gonna lie. Not not a big fan at all. Yeah, I, I think Dave Melcher might be. I have to he's say. the worst. He he's the worst. He hated me. He made me cry on several occasions. He has a, an issue with women, and mm-hmm. read into that for whatever you want. But I, I know what I think about him, and I know what I've heard from certain interviews, and I think that he might be <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that. But the way he talks about women, even today, it's like, that's not normal. And yeah. there's something psychologically wrong there. He's a bully. But I, I don't even think he's a bully. I, I just think that he's like a, a nerd who has other <laughs> nerds around him. So he thinks, he's like, hey guys, uh, let's stay up late tonight. It's like, you're, you're in your 50s. He's like, yeah. yeah. But no, he's a bully because he says things that aren't true. And lets his little cult of readers believe it. And, you know, words can hurt and they do hurt. And you can call me oversensitive, but when you're a 23 year old girl who gets thrown on TV, who doesn't have any experience and is trying to make a name for herself and working very hard. And then you go and tell your your minions, oh, she's she sucks at her job and she's bulimic and anorexic and looks horrible and she can't work. And this is every single performance. It kind of gets to you. You know what I mean? I, I can. I wasn't, but wait a minute. I was never bulimic and never anorexic. I was very thin. I, I will say I was very thin. But I was on weight gainer and I ate whatever I wanted back then. I was 23 years old, 23, 24 years old, right? I couldn't gain an ounce of weight. My metabolism was through the roof. And you ask any of the people that I was on the road with, I would eat burgers and Chick-fil-A and milkshakes and all this stuff. I just never gained a pound. It wasn't my fault, you know? But when when you're judged and supposed to be a sex symbol on television and then you have a man who has a core following and he's telling everybody you're bulimic, you're anorexic. I've never met the guy and I've never gone public ever and said that I had an eating disorder. Um, The only problem that I had was I couldn't gain weight, but it wasn't like I wasn't trying to, you know what I mean? So that stuff is hateful and that's being a bully. And I don't like that. He judges women on their looks constantly. And plus, I will say this now because I've been in the business a really long time. I really think I was a good worker. Mm. I took great bumps. I knew how to sell. I could talk. I'll put myself over for that. For somebody to shit on you every single performance. Okay, I I get I'm not your cup of tea, but calm down. You know what I mean? Like, come on. It's but too much. There's a, I can translate all those insults that fucking Melcher gave you. And it translates as, holy Jesus, she is gorgeous. I'll never get a girl like that. Fuck her. I'm going to ruin her. No, I disagree. I just feel like for some reason he just hated me so much. And I never gave him any ammo to. I never mentioned him. I never met the guy. Never... I never really talked about him. I didn't read his sheet. I was, you know, back then we didn't have the internet, but people would literally put the paper in my hand and I had no choice but to read it. Mm. And I hate to admit it, but I would cry. It would hurt my feelings. And I remember Paul pulling me aside and saying, you know, for every hundred guys out there, you're going to get that one who hates you and 99 love you. And I said, yeah, but the one that hates me is the one that sticks in my brain. Yeah, no, but he's. So, a, I I have a problem with Meltzer because I've I've been supposedly supposed to interview him for nearly three years, and and he like the fucking vaccine to a pandemic has come out quicker than this <laughs> fucking creator faced. F- 
uh, agreeing to do an interview with me. So fuck him. I don't, I don't even want to interview him. Like, listen, if you did an interview with him, would you kiss his ass? Or oh, I I you... trash this Francine bitch from ECW in a second. <laughs> okay. And I would tell him that I banged her. 